All software is powered by data. Data may sound like an abstract idea, but it's really just the stuff that your app is about. Products, locations, songs, or images. Tables and spreadsheets are really the best way that people have found to think about and organize data. So Glide lets anyone build software using spreadsheets and other data sources. The data editor is where you manage your project's data. You can edit in the data editor or wherever the data is stored. Everything stays in sync. Before you start a project in Glide, it's useful to think about the structure of your data. In other words, what your project is about. It could be relatively simple. For example, if you're making a team directory, you might just have two tables, one for team members and another for locations. But if you're making something to do with inventory management, it might be more complex. You might have tables for inventory items, for customers, suppliers, orders. And if this app or website has more of a delivery component, you might have tables for deliveries, drivers, vehicles, warehouses, and the list can go on depending on the complexity of your app. You can always add more tables in future, but it's worth thinking about this sort of thing up front. Within each table, the first row should be column names. These column names should describe the properties of your items. For example, if you're making a team directory for your company, the first row could contain column names like name, role, title, number, and photo, because these are the properties that each person has. After the first row, every following row should have values in each of those columns. It's okay to leave some cells empty, but if you leave big gaps between rows and columns, Glide may not pick up your data correctly. There are two primary types of columns that you'll be working with in the data editor, basic columns and computed columns. Basic columns are just simple columns that contain data. They're the same as the ones that live in your data source. Any new column that you make in your source will become a basic column in Glide. Glide will look at the data in this column and assign a type to that column. For example, if you add a number column, you'll be able to format those numbers. Or if you add an image column, we'll show you the image thumbnails. And you can even upload images or pick royalty-free ones from Unsplash. If you want to change the column type, you can click on the drop-down menu of that column, click Edit, and select a new column type. You can create new basic columns at any time with the New Column button. These will be added in your data source as well. In addition to the basic columns that live in your original data source, Glide adds a new type of column on top called a computed column. There are some things that apps and websites need to do that aren't possible with basic data alone. So computed columns add more functionality and allow you to structure and connect your data in useful ways. For example, the distance column calculates the distance between two locations, and the template column lets you replace parts of your text with unique values from each row.